Hey everyone, before we hop into today's video, I just want to give a shout out to this video sponsor, one of my favorite people to work with, Platinum Games, who want me to talk about the new free time attack DLC for the wonderful 101 remaster. In this mode, players can compete for the best Operation Clear Times and participate in online rankings. The skills, Unite Morphs, and Custom Blocks that can be used are limited, and the starting number of team members is fixed, but all non-essential cutscenes are skipped, and you can keep track of your best times using the record gauge, so that's awesome. And if you're not sure that you want to try out this new DLC because you haven't even tried the game, you can check out the link in the description so you can download the Wonder Size Cadet demo, which features not only the hidden team member Wonder Bayonetta, but also has over two hours of gameplay, and you can carry over your save data from the demo to the full game, which is actually for sale on Steam right now until July 8th. And even if you miss out on the sale, you should still pick up this game. It's really fun, and I'm not just saying that because Hideki Kamiya and I are best friends now. More DLC is still on the way, so be sure to stay tuned for what Platinum Games has coming. Every second counts when the world is on the line. A new challenging world awaits in the wonderful 101 Remastered. Thanks to Platinum Games for partnering with me again and to you for watching this video. Stay safe out there, everybody. So I'm at the register and then I realize I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. No, you were broke because you own an actual lightsaber and a custom anime ass looking motorcycle, Travis. Also, narration. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you there holding the controller right now, just press the A button. Breaking the fourth wall. Yo, help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? Bad answer. God damn, dude. I know you're a literal paid assassin, but you get paid to kill the other assassins, not their henchmen. That dude was just scared probably three weeks from retirement. <laughs> cool, well, I feel dirty now. The name Holy Sword is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Well, being number one is a title. The title of number one. You are not going to get rid of all that blood with brooms, my guys. Anytime, anywhere, number 11 could be right around the corner, ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I got to continue fighting. There's no way out of this. You set me up. Bitch. What did you think was gonna happen, you dumbass? Oh yeah, I'll kill some people, get some cash, hopefully some pussy, become number one, and live happily ever after without anyone else ever wanting to be number one after me. Ugh. What's it going to be, cowboy? Put me in, coach. All right. Please transfer one hundred and fifty thousand LB dollars. What? 150,000 LBs? Your entry fee, my overhead costs. Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price or that I am ripping you off or some sh**. Wait, I don't understand at all how the association works. Why the f do I have to pay you to risk my life? And on top of that, what is the purpose of the association anyway? Why is there an association that keeps track of assassins that kill other assassins? Why is there a leaderboard? There's not really a product for you to sell to an audience, at least that I could tell. Like, I guess the assassins are the product, but also the consumer? Doesn't that make this a pyramid scheme? We have an elite staff in the thousands. Okay, and what do they do? So far, I've only ever seen them clean up the messes from the massacres. Any thousands of people to do that? From what I can see, there are only 10 assassins that matter. And even then, how do you rank the assassins anyway? We were ranked 11 after Travis killed Helter Skelter, but why was Helter Skelter ranked 11? Who was ranked 12? Based off what? Kill count? You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. I haven't been hired for shit if I have to pay an entrance fee to do my job. It's not an investment. I'm paying you to let me do this. Travis! Is that Bishop, the dude from the video store? Why is he bringing me the Speltiger? Don't you have work? Is that the Gmail logo? Also, I love that in this game where I have to compete to be the best assassin in Santa Destroy, I have to collect coconuts in order to do that. If there's one thing I love in video games, it's doing chores. Riddle me this, how is my beam katana capable of slicing a dude's head off, but when I hit a baseball, it acts like a bat? Suddenly revolver ocelot. Ah, yes, no more heroes. 
The game where you go around killing other assassins with your anime lightsaber and mow the lawn. I will now avenge my father! Something tells me you watch too many samurai movies, little girl. You're one to talk, Mr. Otaku. <laughs> Taku. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Finish me! Finish you? Don't look at me like that! Don't! I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. I never fought your father. Who? You, what? You killed him. Who gives a shit about that? You sick Why does that matter? Whoa, whoa. Calm down a little. <laughs> Jacobs was my mentor. I'd never kill him. Where the hell is all this coming from? Liar. You knew her father? Was Shinobu told that someone with a beam katana killed her father? You're sort of dropping us into this conversation with no context at all. I watched Master Jacob's teachings on video over and over till the fucking tape wore out. We've never met in person. Then he wasn't your mentor, you jackass. I don't watch Jazz's animation tutorials and call him my mentor. That still doesn't explain how you know who Shinobu's father is. As far as you know, her name's just Shinobu. Sounds like a business. There's no such thing as mercy. Kill when you can kill. That's bullshit. All I want to do is fight someone better than me. But then you would die. Also, what the hell is your motivation? I thought you wanted to be number one, not fight people stronger than you. Once you're number one, that means there is no one stronger than you. Travis Touchdown, Assassin, Coconut Collector, Landscaper, and Garbage Man. What the hell's going on over there? Jeez. Don't leave me hanging, honey. You just asked her, you impatient bastard. Let her form her thoughts. Destroy cow! Destroy team! This is where it gets good. Good night. Destroy! That was quite a move. How am I not already dead? I just got electrocuted, thrust into the air by a ground shockwave, and then shot by lasers, twice. Travis Touchdown, Assassin, Coconut Collector, Landscaper, Garbage Man, and Gas Attendant. Well, you could have jumped out of the way instead of screaming like an idiot. Also, how are you not dead? Do you like killing? Live for it. Yeah, it sure seemed like it when you didn't kill Shinobu. Nice trap. I'm convinced that Travis cannot die. Maybe Travis touchdown, assassin, coconut collector, landscaper, garbage man, gas attendant, and minesweeper. And also graffiti scrubber. Which, by the way, I don't think scrubbing graffiti with a broom alone is going to do anything. The name is Travis Touchdown. Thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I would also like to thank you for coming this evening. As a result, Travis Touchdown is now ranked fourth place. And the show will go on. I hope to see you all again soon. And, and have, have a good, good night. night. Uh, who are they talking to? Well, okay, well, I guess seeing so many people be brutally murdered would turn anyone insane. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. Are you on the throne again? Please wire us the money now. I love that the higher up the ranks I get, the less professionally they treat me. Like, dude, you realize I'm becoming the best assassin in the country, right? You realize I'm making you money, right? I feel like at least some respect is in order. Travis Touchdown, Assassin, Coconut Collector, Landscaper, Garbage Man, Gas Attendant, Minesweeper, Graffiti Scribber, and Cat Whisperer. Wait, where the hell did he come from? The overhead compartment? How did he fit himself and his weapon in there? Where did all of these dudes come from? This is the same bus! Master! <laughs> Oh no, that guy. I think he might have been the guy at the Thunder Ryu building. Was that Thunder Ryu himself? 
I don't, I, you never have to go there, and we never really learned anything about him to form a connection, so I don't really care. Idiots. All men are. That's sexist. Also, that cannon is comically and impractically large. Travis Touchdown, Assassin, Coconut Collector, Landscaper, Garbage Man, Gas Attendant, Minesweeper, Graffiti Scrubber, Cat Whisperer, and Pest Control. And Daredevil. Why am I getting paid for this one again? And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a fraud? Are you telling me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. Would you mind telling me how far this all went? I'm now second in rank. So, just one more to go. So, you even know the rules of this fake association? Also, for a professional con artist, she does seem pretty, you know, professional. She has all these people working for her, and it's not like the people we killed weren't in on it. They believe there was an association, too. If you start a club, and people put money toward the club, and people work for the club, and the people this club pays agree that there's a club, you can't just say there's not a club! Travis, can you hear me? It's Sylvia. I never thought you'd make it this far. But I am sorry. I cannot see you anymore. I want to fly to your side right now. I want to be in your arms. I want to be with you. I want to share my life with you, no matter the cost. Meeting you, I felt truly alive for the first time. I mean that. But feelings and reality are two different things. Life is not that simple, yes? Now, be honest. Did you really think I would let you do me if you hit number one? You really are an idiot, aren't you, Travis? Come back to reality. I mean, look at yourself. You are a dopey otaku assassin. The bottom of the barrel. No woman would be caught dead with you unless she was a desperate bitch. Where in the world could you find a woman who could fall in love with someone like you? Well, one is right here. It was fun, Travis. I love you. Do you? Because I'm getting, like, hardcore mixed signals from you. Also, why would you? Aside from that one kiss, we haven't really spent time together. And even that didn't make much sense. Remember, son. Engraved into your memory is the night when everything changed. I fell to my feet right before my son's eyes. Do you not remember this? In my deepest memories, I hear someone calling. I remember. It was a hot summer day. There was someone standing behind my father and mother. That person killed my parents. The face, I can't make it out. Who are you? Remember. Who are you? Try harder. I think I can see it. Almost. Do you recognize the face? Now I remember everything. Well done, son. She was the girl you loved. What the hell is happening? I know this is a parody of how ridiculous anime stories are or whatever, but where did any of this come from? Context would have been nice, thank you. Also, what was the point of Darkstar saying he was Travis's dad and then asking to remember his parents' killer? You think he wouldn't remember what his actual dad looked like too? And that notwithstanding, I still don't get what the point would have been to you telling him you're his dad. What were you hoping to get out of that? Getting him to drop his guard? You're still as gullible as ever, Travis. Think, why would he be your father? Well, he didn't actually believe him. Plus, it's not like it mattered. Travis literally would not have cared. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. I can help you to get even. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. With people who are actually assassins. Do you guys not know what a con artist is? Gene, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Wasn't Gene the name of our cat? 
you and who the hell is this Jean? She just comes out of nowhere. It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? Suddenly Duke Nukem. Right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. What are you, a Time Lord? I didn't know you had time bending powers. That would have been cool to know. You are my half brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Wow, a Japanese manga. Way to narrow it down to literally every manga. Knowing I had nowhere to go, he took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, he molested me. We lived in this rotten apartment. Really? The apartment part is what got you? Imagine that. You and I. Brother and sister. Sweet home Alabama. It's time to die, Mr. First Rank. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> you get it? All right. Uh, uh, damn it. That all you got, Travis? Don't make me laugh. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why the hell do you call me Travis? Travis, like you're my friend or something. Because that's your name, you dumbass. What the hell else is he supposed to call you? Let me ask you. How do you plan to put an end to all of this? Wait a sec. You want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. You showed up one other time and you helped us advance the story. In fact, this time you saved our life. You're literally the opposite of a foil. I know. Too bad there won't be a sequel. <laughs> Well, make up your damn mind, game! Will there not be a sequel or to be continued? Moey. Hey everyone, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with No More Heroes. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check everything wrong with the wonderful 101? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off.